All right, here's a quick look at how my Loopy setup is with uh, my MIDI controller. First button is set to record. Um, I can't hold my bass while I'm holding the camera, so I'll just do a little recording after this and tack it on at the end. Just standard record toggle. This one is set to next track and record. It makes a uh, quick way of just going to the next track. So you can do it with one button press instead of two. So on. This is a uh, toggle mute, which also works like record, as everyone should know by now. The next five in a row are for tracks one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, just toggle mute on them, just to make it quick to turn them on or off or to record with them. Set for previous track. Button nine is set for next track. These two are set so that uh, I can switch between multiple song parts pretty easily. Let's say I record a part, two, three, four. This one will go to the previous track and start it as soon as the first one is done. This one will go to the next track and start it as soon as that one's done. Now watch. Three, four, one, two. And that'll keep recording till I stop it. And now, between the previous button and the next button, I can switch between two tracks or more. It only works in sequential tracks, so if I have one, two, and three set to record this way, I can only go from 3 to 2, and then from 2 to 1, and from 1 to 2, and then 2 to 3, and so on. Um, you can obviously just use the play stops for each track if you want to, but if you're doing this with two tracks that are in a row, like 1 and 2, and then 2 and 3, then it just lets you use one button press instead of multiple play stop button presses. And the last track button, oh, pardon me, the last mini button is set to uh, erase track. Or if I hold it down uh, for a couple seconds, it's set to erase all tracks and reset the session. Thank mm -hmm. you.